Thank you for joining us. Great to have you all, and thank you for your attention over there. Okay. Um, this is a uh, uh, event for Okinawa's Memorial Day. June 23rd is Okinawa's Memorial Day. 77 years ago today, the Battle of Okinawa was officially ended. Every year, people in Okinawa visit the cornerstone of peace. They remember their family members and friends who lost their lives during the war and pray for peace. The cornerstone of peace. This shows a little bit. This is the corner of cornerstone of peace in Okinawa, which is uh, installed at the uh, battlefield of Oki the Battle of Okinawa. The cornerstone of peace was built in 1995. It was when peace seemed to be a possible dream across the world. In 1995, as people believed that the Cold War was finally over. The cornerstone of peace was the dream child of Ota Masahide, then governor of Okinawa, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the end of the World War II. Governor Ota had a vision. It was to build a foundation of peace in Okinawa and to make Okinawa a cornerstone of peace. His belief in peace was unshakable based on his own tragic, tragic experience. When the Battle of Okinawa started, he was a student at the Okinawa Teachers College. He was, I think, 19 years old. He was drafted into the Japanese Army's Iron and Blood Student Corps. Among 480 fellow student soldiers, only 96 survived. As a survivor from the hell of war, peace building became his mission for the rest of his life. More than 240,000 names are inscribed, inscribed on Cornerstone of Peace. All those who died are named regardless of nationality and civilian or military status. The names are in their native alphabet according to the place of origin. Ishihara Masaie is a scholar who took the initiative to research all households in Okinawa to collect all the victims' names to be inscribed on the cornerstone. In his view, the cornerstone is the mirror image of the bloody battlefield, where all we see are dead bodies. There is no distinction. It doesn't make sense to say who is the enemy and who is not. The military ranking has no meaning, either being a general or a foot soldier. A dead body is a dead body. It signifies the meaningless of war. Takayama Choko, the right-hand man of Governor Ota for the corner stone of peace construction points out that Okinawa has a humanism legacy from the Ryukyu Kingdom's time. Before being invaded and integrated by Japan, Okinawa was an independent state. as the Ryukyu Kingdom. The people had 450 years of their own history and culture. Without any weapons, they proposed through trade with China, sorry, they prospered through trade with China and neighboring countries. Life is a treasure. All 
life is equally precious. That's the lesson of, co of Cornerstone of Peace. Under the current situation, as war clouds darkened the world, a project was created to read out all the names inscribed on the Cornerstone of Peace. In a 12-day online event, people from America participated in reading names of all American soldiers who lost their lives during the Battle of Okinawa. Some of our friends here kindly joined. Say their names is to revive their souls. Many of us thought of their lives, which were suddenly cut into absurdity. We mourned them and asked them to watch over us as we would try to do our best to stop any more wars. I will never forget the moments when Miles started to sob while reading the names. He's an ex-Marine. He was stationed at Camp Schwab when three American soldiers raped a 12-year-old Okinawan girl in 1995. Now a member of Veterans for Peace, Miles joined a VFP delegation to Okinawa. As a rapper, he wrote the song, Nichidu Takara, Life is a Treasure. Overwhelmed by the memory, he cried. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, everyone. Peace for Okinawa. Peace from Okinawa. Thank you. Preparing this uh, uh, gathering, I found a uh, um, newspaper article which uh, mentioned that uh, um, Takayama Chokos, uh, which I mentioned in my speech. So I uh, translated it and asked Alex to read it out for us. Takayama Choko, 87 years old is former head of the Prefectural Governor's Office of Okinawa. He spearheaded the construction of the project The Cornerstone of Peace as a right-hand man to the then Governor Ota Masahide. Takayama experienced the Battle of Okinawa at the age of 10. Now, 77 years after the war, he feels a sense of crisis in the air. The current situation reminds me of the eve of the Battle of Okinawa. There is some similarity, he says. He strongly appeals for peace building through diplomacy, not military force. Takayama was born in Mobotucho, Izumi. He was a third year student at the Izumi National School in 1944. Air raid shelters were being dug all over the community. He remembers women and older men were heading to the harbor with shovels and hoes to serve their labors for building an airfield on the nearby Ijima Island. His grandfather and two aunts were among them. When the U.S. bombed Ijima, his grandmother worried about her husband and daughter sent to work there. Takayama remembers his grandmother shivering as she was watching the island from the high ground in Izumi. School life gradually changed. A Japanese army unit led by Colonel Udo started to be stationed at the school, who had plans to recruit civilians to make them combatants for secret operations. Takayama was fascinated by Colonel Udo riding a horse with a sword. I was a military boy whose dream was to become a general in the army, Takayama recalls. Around March 1945, just before the U.S. forces landed on Okinawa Island, Takayama evacuated to an air raid shelter in Yedeke Mountain with his family. Heavy naval gunfire began and trees were blown away. Shells flew with a hissing sound. They were they followed the retreating Udo unit to Tanakotake Mountain in 
Panaji. A soldier pulled out a sword and threatened them not to file, follow, but they did not stop following. We would rather die with the army than be taken prisoner, Takayama says. In the mountains, he witnessed the dead body of a Japanese soldier whose face was disfigured without the contour by bullets. He saw injured boy soldiers. Later, the soldiers of the Udo units suffered from hunger in the mountains. There was friction with the local residents over food. Some residents were suspected, suspected of espionage and were killed. In the event of war, lives would be lost and everything would be destroyed. The memories of war from his childhood remain with him to this day. The names of more than 240,000 war dead are engraved in the cornerstone of peace, designed to resemble the ocean so that waves of peace will spread forever. Takayama wonders what their lives would be like had they not died in the war and calls for peace building through diplomacy, not military force. He proposes to create a network for young people in the Asia Pacific region and to interact and deepen their understanding and, he believes, an effective way for peace building. He says, I hope the wave of peace will spread throughout the world. He hopes to pass on the idea of peace to the next generation to pursue his vision. Thank you very much. I think I missed it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
arrived from New Jersey. Um, our uh, Teiko Yonaha Tusi, she is uh, um, our godmother, Uchina, Okinawan woman. She cannot come here today, but she made this uh, banner for us. Uh, and uh, that said, the, the middle line is Nuchidu Takara, life is a treasure. That's the you know, very basic philosophy of Okinawan people. So, and uh, uh, Teiko-san sent us uh, some short message, so I asked, I asked media. Read this, can you come here, media? In mid-June, when I hear the cry of the cicadas, the scenery of the deep forest of Mount Nago floats in my mind. We originally hid on Nago Mountain where we could see Nago Bay. When we saw the U.S. soldiers landing in the bay from the U.S. landing ship tanks, the evacuees quickly moved to the back side of the mountain. 77 years ago today, on June 23rd, Uchina Ikusa, the Battle of Okinawa, finally ended. Shortly thereafter, my father chose to commit suicide along with his comrades in one of the caves in Mabuni in the southern Okinawa, whereas my mother carried the infant and always kept the supplied grenade in her bag accordingly. Five of us including my mother, survived after moving around during an evacuation in the mountains for more than nine months. It was my mother's strong conviction for life. Choice was to live. Nuchi du Takara, life is a treasure. We were notified of the Okinawa battle's end by leaflets dropped by airplane. The U.S. military trucks transported the evacuees to the town. When my family entered the gate to the family ground, numerous bright red hibiscus flowers caught my eyes. They were blooming everywhere. 
I was four years old. The Battle of Okinawa was finally over. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Lydia. Granny. Granny. Okay, so let me introduce uh, Grannies, uh, Raising Granny. I'm going to sing a fabulous songs. Um, enjoy. Three songs. If you know, if you know the uh, songs, you can join. I have songs if you want to have them out. Next one's by Corrine Willinger and several other grannies. One, two, three. We have military bases at home and all around. In old Peru and Timbuktu, wherever there is ground. In over 80 countries and in every case. What do they give us? Another base. There is nothing like a base. Nothing in this world, and we have them every place. We will soon have them up in space. In over 80 countries, on every continent, on the land we occupy, their people don't consent. In Turkey and the Philippines and Okinawa too, whatever we do there. Undo. There is nothing like a base, nothing in this world. And we have them every place, we, we will soon have them up in space. 797 foreign bases plus, we dominate these countries, they fear and don't want us. Let the U.S. people know our bases we must yield. We only want our bases on a baseball field. There is nothing like a base, nothing in this world. And we have them every place. We will soon have them up in space. by Alice and Martha and Judith. They're building a base. 
place in Hanoko Bay. All one people say, no way! People are rising for justice. Okinawa people, you're strong. Okinawa people suffered many years of war. They stand so strong, they won't take no more. People are rising for justice. Okinawa people, you're strong. Okinawa people protest day and night to make the government do what's right for justice. Okinawa people, you're strong. Okinawa people protest in their canoe. We gotta learn to be just like you. People are rising for justice. Okinawa people, you're strong. One more time. Okinawa people, you're strong. Great, thank you so much. We love you, Glannis. Thank you very much. As everybody feels that uh, the military is increased everywhere, and as that uh, uh, mentioned in the uh, previous speech, the Asia, East Asian, and Okinawa people are really, really scared what is coming. So we just uh, asked uh, Subok and uh, another person from Taiwan to share their thought uh, on the day of uh, uh, Okinawa Memorial Day. Thank you for coming, Suba. Thank you, Hidako. Uh, my name is Suba Kim uh, from uh, Teaneck, New Jersey. I'm honored to stand together with you today. I know only a little bit about Okinawa. However, I believe tropical island Lots of uh, tourists are coming year-round and uh, walking down beautiful white beaches, fragrant flowers all around, and the uh, birds are singing. Okinawa reminds me of um, Korea. A huge navy base built against fierce residents and environmentalist protest and rally. It is not for Korean Navy, it is for US Navy base. I served Korean Army from 1967 to 1970. The military equipment for GIs in South Korea delivered from Okinawa. The US base in Okinawa intervened in the Korean politics with confrontation policy. The Korean War, since Korean War 1950, and the same policy will remain in the future. Okinawa and Jeju base are the closest U.S. bases to China in Asia. We don't want U.S. confrontation policy toward neighbors like North Korea, South Korea, and China. We want peace policy. We must live together in Asia, also in peace. I demand Okinawa free from U.S. bases. I demand Okinawa free from nuclear weapons. I demand Okinawa free from regional conflict. Am I right? Yes. We need a peace in Asia, in Okinawa. We don't need confrontation no more. Thank you. Thank you, Subak. 
and uh, another message from Taiwan. Uh, my friend, who, who uh, we became friends with Yuan Chuchan when she was uh, uh, live, uh, staying in New York for two years, one and a half years. But anyway, uh, we still continue to uh, make a conversation, uh, trying to search how it is possible, especially the m most people try to, uh, lots of people try to use Okinawa and Taiwan as an excuse for mil militarization. But as a people, we know that um, uh, the, our goal will just not the security that brings people suffering. So we try to uh, keep talking what we can do for uh, together to uh, make the peace uh, come true. So I just, uh, uh, Chichan sent me a, a video message I asked her, and I will ask, uh, upload the, her video on um, online later, but now uh, I asked Rosemary to read the message. Thank you so much. These are the words of Yuan Chi Chun from Taiwan. To close the military base in Okinawa is such an important movement for peace in Asia. In Taiwan, people used to have the consensus of reducing military force. But this consensus is challenged by tensions between Taiwan and China, also China and the USA. Taiwan is guided by the United States to increase our self-defense. Self-defense becomes another way of aggression. Taiwan increases its military budget, increases its trade for weapons. The risk is that we turn Taiwan into a weapon. And on Memorial Day, the memory of Okinawa tells us that humans are not weapons. My prayer for this day is that gradually in Taiwan, we will form and think independently about peace. And we will join Okinawa people in the future. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to have another song by some Okinawan people and non-Okinawan people with a uh, bad enemy <laughs> uh, and with the flute guitar and uh, uh, sanshin, sanshin guitar, like a banjo, Okinawan banjo. Um, we're gonna sing, play and sing the song called Ghetto. Ghetto is the name of a flower. Uh, it's a sim symbol of peace in Okinawa. Yeah. 
so much. This is a very beautiful and sad song. Uh, in June, Okinawa um, ghetto, this is the name of that song, the flower of ghetto in a blooms. But uh, in 1940, 1945, during the Battle of Okinawa, uh, people had to hide in the caves because that's the fear, the battle was too fierce. And while, you know, uh, un unseen, the flowers bloom and, you know, uh, blown away. And when people came out, the flowers were already gone. But, and people just, the only thing people can see that some uh, uh, smoke from that uh, uh, chimney which were burning the dead bodies. So still the big people, you know, have to keep, keep that, uh, the hope that next year that same flower will be blown. That's the song. Of. Thank you so much. The general of the Japanese uh, um, troops killed himself. That, you know, makes uh, officially the battle was over. Still, that uh, uh, the real, real uh, bombing was continued, and people had to suffer until the very beginning of the uh, uh, September. Uh, the middle of September. And as we know, of course, the civilians were the, uh, the biggest victims, but uh, even uh, American soldiers, I heard they were, all of them, most of them are very, very young because they were sent to the, the fierce battle. So they lost their lives too. And I heard a lot of uh, American soldiers suffered after that the PTSD when they come back. So, uh, and that, that uh, Okinawan's battle was uh, officially over, but uh, even now, lots of uh, lives are being lost. Uh, many places in the world. So we oh, just uh, um, have a moment of silence to think of the lives and pray for the peace. So I just uh, ring the bell, so uh, join us, please. And as I mentioned, you know, we had a, um, some uh, events to read all the uh, read the name, all the names, American soldiers' names, uh, on uh, inscribed on the 
cornerstone peace to remember their lives and pray for peace uh, just like this so uh, but uh, the many people here joined uh, kindly joined us and I feel that you know that everyone is feeling some uh, uh, urgency urgency how and uh, wondering how to what we do uh, you know that we the very very um, crisis in the air so I just uh, uh, open mic to if uh, you somebody wants to share some uh, thoughts so can you join not necessarily about Okinawa, but uh, anything you like. We don't know. Anybody? United States government is now uh, trying to pivot towards uh, confronting China, which would be the gravest uh, uh, catastrophe if we were uh, to uh, uh, try to uh, conduct a war there. Um, we already have our hands full in uh, uh, Ukraine, where we're backing uh, war to the last Ukrainian death. We don't need more of that. Thank you. And I'm so happy so many people are here today. And I just, I mean, the war has been with us since Adam and Eve. And I just don't know. We keep trying, we keep trying, we keep trying. And, uh, just no more wars. It's just, we gotta keep fighting for that. And just never ever stop. And uh, yeah, just no, no more wars. No more wars! Thank you. No more wars! No more wars! No more wars! No more wars! No more wars. Once more. Anybody, anything you like to share? Doesn't need to be um, the Okinawa related. Uh, anything about wars, um, conflict, poverty? Um, nobody? Bad? I asked Bart to play final uh, some music at the finale, but before that, <laughs> but will you will be the next? Okay. Um. The final thought I want to share with you. The Zoom event, reading the names of the Cornerstone Peace, brought opportunities to exchange precious memories. A peace activist living overseas, but close to Governor Ota, shared her story. She visited him at the hospital a few months before he passed away. Both of them knew it was the last time they would be able to see each other. I know it is critically important to keep talking about the war experiences to the next generation to bring about peace, she said to him. He disagreed. Well, it is important, but the most important thing to do is to 
would not allow any more U.S. bases to be built in Okinawa, he said. The cornerstone of peace is installed on the everlasting waves of peace design. Black granite screens with inscribed names are installed in the shape of concentric arcs like waves. They signify the wish to make Okinawa a place where peace will be born and spread to the world. I wish for the dream of Governor Ota to come true. Stand with Okinawa. Stand for peace. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. So now we're going to have Bad <laughs> playing guitar and singing a song. I don't know what he's going to sing, but it's going to be great, as usual. So I told him that he better shut his mouth and do his job like a man and he answered listen father i will never kill another he thinks he's better his brother that died. What the hell does he think he's doing to his father who brought him a bride? Take your place on the great Mandela. As it moves through your brief moment of time We know lose now You must choose now And if you lose, you're only losing your life not to bother with his meal of bread and water today he's fasting till the killing's over he's a martyr he thinks he's a prophet, but he's a coward. He's just playing a game. He can do it. He can change it. And it's been going on for 10,000 years. Take your place on the great Mandela As it moves through your brief moment of time Win or lose now You must choose now And if you lose, you're only losing your life. Tell the people they are safe now. Hunger 
stopped him. He lies still in his cell. Death has gagged his accusations. We are free now. We can kill now. We can hate now. Now we can end the whole world. We're not guilty. He was crazy. And it's been going on for 10,000 years. Take your place on the great Mandela as it moves through your brief moment of time. Win or lose now, you must choose now. And if you lose, you're only wasting your life. Thank you. Special a message. She, uh, I don't know. She's just passing by. She's from uh, Okinawa and living in Brazil, and she was so impressed with uh, you know, what we are doing here. So, so I will have a uh, ask, uh, give her uh, one message. お名前もわからない。あの、ブラジルから来ました。え、あと、ポルトガル語で言うんです。あ、しゃべんだ。ノム、秋のイノバヤーキ。ちだスープレーズ人コンタ。ペソジ、オキナワ、うちなんちゅ
bloody war I ain't gonna I ain't gonna stop